right, it is time for the M2 launch. Apple. Yes, we're going to the Apple store for the M2 launch. Got to pick up one of those M2s, MacBook Pro, baby. We're going to go there. We're going to get one. Are you excited? There's no one there. Oh my God, I expected a crowd around the corner for this M2. Why not? Why is there no one there? All right, Teleo Techie, here it is. The M2. The M2 MacBook Pro. Yes, from the Apple Store. The Apple Store, baby. Righto, tell you their chance, and it's M2 MacBook Pro Day. Yes, it's the launch day of the M2 MacBook Pro, and yes, I'm excited. I went down the Apple Store. I thought there was going to be a queue for miles, but there was no one there. Why? This is pure excitement. The M2 Mac. I'm so excited to test out this M2. I will compare it to, yes, the latest laptops from Intel, you know, Windows gaming laptops. I'll compare it to the old M1, MacBook Pro 16 as well. Make sure you do subscribe because I've got a lot of content. But I've got to say, I'm worried about one thing. This is the M1 MacBook Pro box. And this is the M2. Don't tell me Apple have done me dirty. This better be an M2. But I've got to say, pure excitement. I mean, I rode a Ducati Street Fighter V4 on the weekend. You know, a super bike. That thing's got 200 horsepower. It can beat any of the Ferraris and Lamborghinis out there. And this is the same level of excitement. So let's just crack on, get into it and have a look. It looks exactly like the M1 Mac. The same box on the outside. Hopefully it's an M2. But it's exactly the same on the inside. There's no real difference here when it comes to unboxing. Pretty much the same power brick there. There's no braided cable for the, you know, the power brick as well. If you've unboxed the MacBook Pro M1, well, this is exactly the same. So yes, indeed, here it is in all its glory. It is an M2. Oh, my heart. Oh, geez, I was really worried that that wasn't an M2. It looked exactly the same. So anyway. Why would you get this MacBook Pro M2 over the MacBook Air? Now, let's have a look. First of all, you get the quick charger, the big charger. So that's one thing. You get the touch bar. See, touch bar. You like it, you love it. I don't know. You get that. You get studio quality mics. You get better battery life. And you also get better performance because this is actively cooled. So it has a fan, so it's going to go harder for longer. So they're the things that you get with this compared to the MacBook Air. Is that enough for you? I don't know. Let me know down there in the comments, but let's compare it to the M1 Mac and see which one's faster. So indeed, this is the M2, this is the M1. So let's go, Cinebench. This has 8,528 versus 7,509. Nice little boost there. Single core, not so much, okay? They both have eight cores. That's on the CPU, but for single core, we got 1,594. I expect some will get 1,600. And this one's here is 15 and 18 points. So a little bit of a boost there in the single core, but not that much. But definitely multi-core, we do get a nice little boost there. Let's go to Geekbench here, and you can see there, right there, 1931 versus 1712 in the single core. And for multi-core, 8,883 versus 7,465. So again, a modest boost there pretty good actually if you want to compare like say for example Cinebench what would an Intel get a 12700H which is a 45 watt part you can't really compare it to this but that would get about you know, a good one would do about 18,000 so yeah double that but you should be comparing this to Ultrabooks not to the gaming sort of systems now there's one thing I want to test on Geekbench it's the actual GPU this is where all the gains should be so we're going to do Metal we're going to do M1 metal m1 on both of them and let's run that compute this is the gpu so you know there's supposed to be improved the gpu up to 33 percent they said with the gpu you know there's more cores you know on the base model i believe so yeah we'll see what happens here with the gpu compute now make sure you do sub up because i will be comparing this to other gaming laptops to the m1 etc for gaming you know, all sort of creative stuff like, you know, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, uh, Blender and stuff like that. So what do we have here for the GPU scores? And Wolf, big, big difference in the GPU scores, all right? So this one should be good for gaming. Stay tuned for my gaming videos. But that's my quick and dirty unboxing, the comparison between the two there. Nice little bump there, but the main thing is the GPU, baby. The GPU is really good. So, yeah. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.